the Tower of Mints is dying. What? Kind of. This is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and it's starting to become more apparent in the community as well as other creators, such as LT Crazy, have started reaching out and about this issue. So I took it upon myself to talk about why Toilet Tower Defense is dying and everything along those lines. So here's my list of five reasons why Toilet Tower Defense is dying. Let's go play a different game while we talk about this, shall we? This seems like the most fitting time to ever do. So a lot of you guys are worried about why Toilet Tower Defense is dying, especially creators, me and other creators, as well as I've already alluded to. I mean, Bimmy Blocks is now posting other Tower Defense videos, probably because he's not too confident in where Toilet Tower Defense is going. So why is this? Why are the other creators leaving? Why is people make content on the game? Well, it's because it's slowly dying and the fingers can be pointed at the devs. So I know what you're asking, but hopeless, what does that even mean? What do you mean it's the developer's fault? Well, first and foremost, the biggest reason why I feel like Toilet Tower Defense is dying is because there's less episodes being made in general. So one of LT Crazy's biggest complaints about the game is how little the updates. He didn't even talk about the fact of how little skibbity toilet episodes have coming out. The developers of the game can only make as many updates as the game makes, or as much as DFR. Who's DFR? Fook Boom makes dates and new videos about skibbity. So obviously, many other Toy Tower Defense games. I, I already went down, by the way. That's so embarrassing. The reason why the game's dying is because there's less content to be made, because there's less update, because the Fook Boom is not making more episodes. So I think part of the thing that Toy Tower Defense community can do to try to mitigate this is make new updates and new innovative things to players engaged. And I think they are actively trying to do this. A lot of people are keen to immediately get mad at the devs, but look at endless mode. What does endless mode direct on and or have anything to do with skibbity? You see what I'm saying? The devs are trying to innovate. There needs to be more innovation if there's less dates because of less skibbity episodes. Either way, that's just how I feel about less updates. There's a lot more reasons why I think the game's dying, so let's move on to number two. The big outcry, the big outlier, the thing that everyone was expecting me to say when watching this video. And yes, it's because Toy Tower Fence is becoming pay to win. Bruh, who wants to spend more money? Half the games, if not 75% of the games that you click on on your explore page in Roblox are buy this, buy that, get more luck here, do this, do that. And as a creator, that is the worst nightmare ever. We're just trying to make content while you guys are just trying to play the game. But half the time to even really play the game, I have to spend 10 bucks on Robux. And if I want to try a new game, then it's 10 bucks here, 10 bucks there. If you want to try a game and actually be decent at it, oh, hey, 10 bucks here, 10 bucks there. No one wants to do that. And we could always rely on Toy Tower Defense to not be that kind of game. How things are going recently, they're turning into that. Like for games like Pet Sim, you kind of expect it. You kind of expect it to be pay to win. Like sure, in Toy Tower Defense, you can get by out paying to win. For example, the starter pack. Let's talk about the freaking starter pack, dude. I don't know why more people haven't. We should have known Toy Tower Defense was more pay to win. As soon as they released that freaking starter pack with the green laser cameraman, it made it the cheapest, like best starting unit ever. There's no other. That is the definition of a pay to win unit. Like the clockwork, was it overpriced? Sure, it absolutely was. But would you define it as pay to win? I wouldn't. It's just kind of a cool little extra thing that you But do. The green laser, that's that is a pay to win unit at its most basic form. It doesn't get more pay to win than that. Either way, that was kind of, <laughs> that was kind of more of just a list rant anything. But that's not my only claim either. As I said, this was a list of five things that we're going to talk about. So let's move on. Number three, about why I feel like Tower Defense is dying and why it's dying. The reason number three why Toy Tower Defense is dying is because of the saturation of the content. And this is coming more obviously from a straighter standpoint. I don't know how many of you guys are actively in Tower Defense content, but I make it every single day. I spend four plus hours every single day dedicated to Toy Tower Defense video. That is a lot. That is a lot of time. That is over half of your guys' school day. And I rely on it a lot to help me out with, you know, my life. And once again, I read out the fact, like how scary that is as a creator with how much saturation's going on. I mean, you could search one topic and probably see 1,500,000 videos about it. But nowadays, there isn't the same amount of audience that consumes that content to justify it. And that to me is honestly a truly terrifying thing. Look at me training. So inspirational. So inspirational. Either way, I didn't want to talk about the saturation aspect for too long. We can now move on to number four reason why I think Toy Tower Defense is dying. And that's because of other Toy Tower Defense games. I mean, I'm not gonna sugar. Like, Skibbity Tower Defense is just outright better than Toy Tower Defense. It's a better made 
arcade game. You can tell they care more. There's more updates and they're legitimately doing more innovative. For example, the Bimmy Blocks unit? When has Toy Tower Defense ever considered doing something like that? Oh wait, it hasn't. It likes to remove its Toy Tower Defense partners. Hello? Hello? Imagine revoking partner on one of your most pivotal and influential creators on the game. That's insanity to me. Truly, unspeakably, unfathomable. And it just doesn't make sense. But obviously, I'm not a developer. How do I know? I'm just a, I'm just a scouting man. You know? Oh, I want the ray gun so bad. Oh, no. Oh, uh, okay. Guys, I gotta focus up. I want that ray gun. I, I don't think I'm gonna get the ray gun. No, this sucks so bad. I had the chance to get a ray gun, but I can't get it. Oh, it's already. That's so sad. <laughs> Either way, I am just kind of waffling right now. So let's move on to number four as to why I think the tower defense is slowly dying. And that's just because people are less interested in it. People have had skibbity shoved down their throats for well over a year now. And this once again alludes to Duke B not posting as many episodes because duke beam isn't posting as many episodes the trend's slowly dying and it's obviously completely dicked by that fact so with that being said as i try not to die people are starting to for lack of a better word getting skibbited out they're not feeling as skibbity as they once did and that's perfectly justified i myself am starting to feel a little skibbited out and there's nothing wrong with that i don't think the game's dead or it's going to die anytime soon but just every day it's it's going to have less and less. That's a scary. It's just kind of something I wanted to talk about. And once again, a topic of interest that I've had written down in my notes to make a video about for a long time. But after LT Crazy made his video about it, I'm, yeah, now is probably the time that I should make a video about it as well. Especially after all the signs and all the upside of it. I wish I had done more about it sooner. Frankly, you know, my uh, my YouTube career has been short, uh, but it might be shorter than uh, than I had I had anticipated, which is really sad. Which is why you should go follow Hopeless One. I'm gonna go play anime game. Awesome. It's gonna be amazing. But either way, without further ado, I think I talked about, I think I, I said everything on my, on my chest that I wanted to say. So with that being said, without further ado, guys, so much for watching this. I really hope you do appreciate it. And I hope you, as a as a joiner, like my content still and plan to continue watching more skibbited videos. Either way, I'll see you guys again soon. That is gonna be oh, it for me. Have a good day. Hopeless. Oh, it's hopeless trying to get partner in ttd but they don't wanna give it to me i spend all my money on units and robux you know i want the best units i'm gonna put in the work i'm gonna put it in the paint you know what i'm saying player then i go around find the best units put them to the test show them who's best flexing on the boys that don't got my best gonna sign units once upon a time i know that i will never rest until the day happens thank you for watching i love you oh it's hopeless oh it's hopeless trying to get partner in ttd but they don't